latent heat. Try this. 1. Take a few pieces of ice in a glass beaker as shown. 2. Insert the bulb of a thermometer in ice and measure its temperature. 3. Put the beaker on a stand and heat the ice using a burner. 4. Record the temperature using the thermometer after every minute. 5. As the ice is heated, it starts melting. Stir the mixture of ice and water. 6. Continue the heating even after ice starts melting. 7. Draw a graph of temperature versus time. You will observe that the temperature of mixture remains 0 degrees Celsius till the ice melts completely. If we continue heating, even after conversion of all the ice into water, the temperature of water starts rising and reaches 100 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, water starts converting into steam. The temperature of water remains constant at 100 degrees Celsius till all water converts into steam. Observe the graph of temperature versus time. In this graph, line AB represents conversion of ice into water at constant temperature. When ice is heated, it melts at 0 degrees Celsius and converts into water at this constant temperature. The ice absorbs heat energy during this transition and the absorption of energy continues till all the ice converts into water. The constant temperature at which the ice converts into water is called the melting point of ice. Thus, during transition of solid phase to liquid, the object absorbs heat energy but its temperature does not increase. This heat energy is utilized for weakening the bonds between the atoms or molecules in the solid and transform it into liquid phase. The heat energy absorbed at constant temperature during transformation of solid into liquid is called the latent heat of fusion. The amount of heat energy absorbed at constant temperature by unit mass of a solid to convert into liquid phase is called the specific latent heat of fusion. Once all the ice is transformed into water, the temperature of water starts rising. It increases up to 100 degrees Celsius. Line BC in the graph represent rise in temperature of water from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Thereafter, even though heat energy is supplied to water, its temperature does not rise. The heat energy absorbed by water at this temperature and used to break the bonds between molecules of the liquid and convert the liquid into gaseous state. Thus, during transformation from liquid phase to gas phase, heat energy is absorbed by the liquid but its temperature does not change. The constant temperature at which the liquid transforms into gaseous state is called the boiling point of the liquid. The heat energy absorbed at constant temperature during transformation of liquid into gas is called the latent heat of vaporization. The amount of heat energy absorbed at constant temperature by unit mass of a liquid to convert into gaseous phase is called the specific latent heat of vaporization. Different substances have different melting points and boiling points. The values of melting point, boiling point and latent heat depend on atmospheric pressure. 